Good morning. I am not an ophthalmologist. I am an engineer by profession. I was 25 years with the Indian Railways. Then opted to take voluntary retirement as Chief Mechanical Engineer of Southeastern Railway. Then I worked for five years in the corporate sector as Vice President, Chief Executive, Deputy Managing Director, etc. Then I moved on in 19, late 87, early 88 to take on as the Regional Director, South Asia for an organization called Sightseers International. It used to be known as Royal Commonwealth Society for the Blind. So I came into the charity sector and eye care sector from having been a government and a private sector person. So I had to learn both how the NGO sector works and how the eye care sector works. So I had to go to people at that time who had the knowledge, experience, expertise and compassion for providing service to the people. At that time, of course, the performance used to be ICCE, there used to be 60-70% of the surgeries being done in camps and uh, uh, it was uh, we were doing about 1.2 million surgeries or so in this country. That's the type of situation then I came in. <coughs> I am going to list through the people who helped me to formulate thinking ideas because they had already had very large concepts and uh, very committed institution builders. So, the first person on the list is a person called Professor L. P. Agarwal. He started RP Center dedicated to the eye, a Moorfield out of Moorfield. India was the first country to have the national program for control of blindness. And in India, in the 10 point 15 point program of uh, the Prime Minister, blindness prevention became one aspect. All that from him and he is from public sector, not from private sector. The second person from whom I learned quite a bit of whatever ophthalmology, you know, apart from there are so many gurus for me, like the Tatre, I have more than 32 gurus, he is one of the premier ones. And he is a guru of ophthalmology, Dr. R. P. Danda. He is a founder of Eye Bank Association of India, the originator of corneal grafting. And he built RIO Ahmedabad, if I remember correctly. Am I correct, sir? And bulk of the cadre of outstanding ophthalmologists were trained by him from Nagpal downwards. Fran Nagpal is a well-known name in the retina. So he was public sector, RIO Ahmedabad. The next person is Professor I.S. Roy of Calcutta. He is possibly the, if you look at the uh, incumbent board in the director's room in RIO Calcutta, before it became RIO, he was a director. After it became RIO as a director, he was possibly together for 15 years or so. He built the institution. And even after his retirement, uh, he was the advisor to the uh, technical advisor to the Lions and the Eastern sector, whatever progress in Lions Hospital came, he was a person, public sector person. Next is Dr. Gullapalli Venkateshwar Rao. I had met him only a couple of times. His son is very famous, Gullapalli Nageshwar Rao, Elu Prashada Institute, etc. Gullapalli Venkateshwar Rao and Dr. Venkat Swami were neighbors. I think Madam Nachia and Nageshwar Rao have played as kids in a tricycle or whatever. Am I correct, Madam? He was the inspiration for Nageshwar Rao to become an ophthalmologist. And he went abroad. He was the inspiration for him to come back and give to this country what he has learnt here and abroad. 
and we have set up a fine institution which completed 25 years about 15 days back. Dr. Shiva Reddy, who built RIO at uh, uh, Hyderabad, uh, Sarojini Deva Hospital, if you walk into that hospital, the auditorium would be donated by somebody. The patient waiting area, Chowdhury would be donated by somebody. The equipment would be donated by somebody. I am talking about uh, 23 years back. He had a thing called uh, freezing the cornea and grinding it and putting it on the cot. Epicaret of ER, some procedure he was telling me. He became Padma Bhushan. Possibly individually has done over 200,000 surgeries or so. Public sector. <coughs> Dr. R. Venkat Swami, he was not an uh, uh, ophthalmologist, but in the government setup, he carved out, and I think Stanley Medical College is a benchmark institute for plastic surgery, you know, public sector. Dr. Sudarshan, though he is an NGO, he has worked in the Karnataka, Tamil Nadu border, Mysore area, in taking health care to the tribals. And where uh, uh, army and police will dread to go because of Virappan, his people will go and deliver service. Collaborated with government. And of course, Dr. V, entire routing, he, Dr. Namparumar Swami and uh, Nachya, they are from government. So, the entire gurus I have had, plus many more, were public sector government. And quite a lot of what you see as growth of ophthalmology or uh, service delivery came from that government, starting from the National Program of Control of Blindness and the impetus which it gave. <coughs> what is the basis? The right persons for the right job. You were all been in this workshop. You will find Saranya will be collecting from you the travel documents. You will find my friends organizing the mic or whatever, etc. You will uh, find the, the same girls providing you the catering and this and that. Identifying people, giving the job and letting them do it. So, we are in Madurai. <coughs> Madurai is an ancient city. It used to have a thing called Tamil Sangam, where all literary work which were made has to be presented there and accepted. More than 2,000 years back, there is a poet called Thiruvalluva. You, when you go to Kanyakumari, you will possibly see a Gomatishwara size of a statue of him. He had written more than 2,000 years back seven words, one and three quarter, that's all. And it says, Idanai, Idanal, Ivan Mudikum, and Rind, Adanai, Avan Gan Vidal. <coughs> this is the work, job specification, and this is the method, protocol, and this is the person who is trained and motivated and appointed to it. Organize, analyze and organize this, and thereafter, leave the job for that person to do, don't sleep behind him or breathe down his back. This is the wisdom he gave, which is applicable. I have with me Dr. Usha Kim, who will talk about organizing the structure, and uh, Dr. Krishna Das about the value, culture, etc., which has to underline to deal with it. I'd like to just conclude with one thought. <coughs> the secret of Aravind is Dr. V, but not this V, is this V. You understand? W E. He always believed in a team. And getting the team, aligning the team, training the team, and letting them do the work. 